Recruitment of personnel into the Nigerian Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA, is considered a very crucial exercise mainly because of the nature of its functions, which basically affects the heartbeat of the country's economy. As we speak, the agency is conducting one such exercise as it recently concluded an interview session for a batch of shortlisted candidates. This has afforded us the rare opportunity to interact with interviewees, personnel of NIMASA, as well as a team of management consultants handling this session. We have that report for you now. A painstaking process of interviewing the over 2,000 shortlisted candidates from the reported 85,000 applicants of the NIMASA recruitment drive is currently taking place at a hotel in Lagos. NIMASA this week was privileged to witness one of the proceedings recently. A high-powered panel made up of very senior officers of the agency as well as the managing partners of the human resources consultants conducted the interviews for legal officers. Anxious candidates could be seen awaiting their turn to be interviewed. It was clear to all that the stakes were high. The consultants handling the exercise assured us that the process has been transparent and that every effort was made to ensure that the exercise was insulated from any form of pressure. Importantly, we, do, we didn't have people's names. We had people, we gave people unique numbering. Nobody knew their numbering until the day of the examination. So the numbering was given on that day. You didn't know if you were going to be number one or number 110 or 2005. The engagement of consultants for the process, which hitherto would have been carried out solely by officers of the agency, was an issue that aroused some curiosity. Nimasa this week sought the view of the consultants as to why they were brought into the process and what, if there are any advantages, they bring to the table. It's very important to have uh, such important process as the recruitment outsourced to independent consultants who would run a free, fair, objective and transparent recruitment process. One striking feature of the exercise was the fact that the shortlisted candidates were indeed very qualitative. A good number of them paraded enviable academic credentials and all appeared to be highly motivated to contribute their quota to the development of the maritime industry. I chose NIMASA because, first of all, as when I was doing my year of national service, I worked in a pollution management firm that deals with ships generated waste, and my interest, you know, picked up. It developed from there. Um, so throughout the period of my studies, I felt an inborn desire to work for an organization like NIMASA in order to fulfill my personal career dream of being a maritime lawyer. The quality of the candidates and the prospects they represent for a virile and effective NIMASA was not lost on the senior officers of NIMASA on the panel. It has been an impressive outing so far. We've had good people who have requisite experience, requisite knowledge and understanding of the job. And like I said earlier, just on the course, the, the, the abundance of human capital the country is endowed with. Because of the way and manner it has gone, we have seen quite a lot of people even coming all the way from the United States, Nigerians, and in the UK, coming for this particular interview. And there are quite a lot of them, well experienced in the maritime sector. Being invited for the interview was in itself an accomplishment, given the fact that nearly 100,000 persons applied for the advertised positions. By the admission of the candidates themselves, the exercise was highly competitive. The process it was really hectic, it was challenging, because even for the test, you know, you, we didn't know where the questions were coming from, we didn't really understand, but we had to try and prepare. I would say the very first, um, the application process, the exam, the written exam, it was a bit hectic, to be honest. It wasn't all that easy, but we wrote the exams, they were able to make their pick, and here we are. Having regard to NIMASA's renewed commitment to its mandate, one is not surprised at the elaborate extent and the attention to detail that has attended this recruitment exercise. We all the same inquired from the senior officers present why NIMASA had to end back on this exercise. Uh, NIMASA is a regulatory agency and that is why it is more important that, we, that those who actually come in or who are part and parcel in terms of the human resources are real professionals. Uh, the vision of the current chief executive is to 
put in place an agency that is alive in all ramifications to its responsibilities, one, as a regulatory agency, and two, supporting an agency that supports capacity building. So, I mean, it's no surprise, therefore, that we're undertaking this, this recruitment. The resolve of the agency to recruit only the best candidates from the pool of applicants and the efforts to insulate the process from political or social pressure was further underscored. In today's Nigeria, merit is the is the prime prime factor um, gone are the days when you recruit based on i know this person i know that person it, it's it, it's it's a transformation process and that is why for us um, we had to go through that rigorous process the credibility or otherwise of the entire recruitment exercise would have counted for nothing if it did not satisfy or engender the confidence of the candidates themselves i'm satisfied with the level of transparency uh, put into the process by the organizers, yeah, it was, it was extremely transparent, I must say. With the panel that has just interviewed me, I think they're on point, they're on top of their game, they know what they're doing, so I think it it's, looks very good. I'm prepared to take the outcome of the result, whether it favors me or not. In keeping with the subject of the agency and recruitment, NIMASA this week sought out both the Administration and Human Resources Department of NIMASA on the rationale and parameters on the ongoing exercise. Getting the right people into the right positions is usually considered the first step in the attainment of efficiency in any organization. The big challenge before any such corporate organization, therefore, is to seek ways of managing the delicate balance between different levels of objectivity while considering persons for employment. For the Nigeria Maritime Administration and Safety Agency, NIMASA, the emphasis on the delivery of optimum performance at all times makes it highly imperative to recruit men and women who are not only professional in orientation but are also driven by a sense of integrity and self-validation. However, in the words of the Director of Administration and Personal Services at the agency, PC Mbemina, abiding strictly by the dictates of merit in the selection of candidates for employment could be subject to different types of pressure, some of which have in the past affected the quality of output at the agency. In the past, there had been pressure from politicians, um, those in government, those in the private sector, who bring in their candidates, requesting the master to employ them. The master had in the past tried in many ways to make sure that the right people are used, are employed. But recently, because of the area we wanted to recruit, like I said, professionals, we had to use consultants to make sure that this pressure is insulated from us.